What's up, wrestling fans? It's Joe Cronin. Uh, Nia Jax is choosing God over the COVID vaccine. Uh, this, is a, this is an interesting one from her Instagram. Uh, Jake DeMarco actually made me aware of this hours ago before it even blew up, but now I'm going to make a video, of, and we already missed the blow up. But, you know, Nia Jax is going to trust God. Um, which, by the way, I agree with some of this and I disagree with some of this, but I wonder what you guys think about this. Very interesting to me. Nia Jax says, the COVID vaccine is 90% effective after eight months of development. Now, I don't, by the way, I don't, know if she, I don't know if she typed this or if this was something she just re, re-Instagrammed or whatever. I, and I don't know if she, like, I don't know if she made God, made my immune system. I don't know which one of these she made, but she put them out on Instagram. So assuming she believes these. Uh, the COVID vaccine is 90% effective after eight months of development, when the flu vaccine is only 40% effective after 70 years of development. I'll go with my immune system, as it's 99.9% effective. Then below that, it was written, God made my immune system, and I trust him w- I trust him the most. Someone above wrote, God also made her knees. Look what happened. <laughs> oh, my God. That's a savage comment, bro. That's a savage comment. But, you know, she does have a point, or this does have a point that, you know, how are you going to expect this to be actually 90% effective when, you know, the flu vaccine is only 40% effective? I don't know. If we can get a scientist or a doctor to let me know, there may be a reason for that. Maybe that there are there are thousands more flu strains than there are COVID strains. Maybe if there's only 50 COVID strains or, or, or 10 COVID strains or whatever it is, maybe that's why it's easier to isolate the idea. I, you know, I don't know. I'm, I have no idea. I'm completely ignorant. I have no clue. Um, but she, you know, she got a point, you know, chances are her own immune system will take care of it. So she won't need that. Um, so it looks like Nia Jax is going to be one of the ones that is inoculated and forced down, but she's also being attacked by the wrestling world. And by the way, I lost my voice earlier, uh, today I've had no voice. So the only way I can talk is by talking like this and talking like, kind of like Alex Jones. Well, you know, something if I talk like this, it probably lost my voice from doing that voice. That's my, my guess. Now, this was all over the place. I saw this on every page, every website. I chose not to do news on it because earlier today, me and Jake on Final Frontier News did a one-hour show on The Great Reset. If you don't know about The Great Reset, we kind of get into it a little bit. It's part one. There's so many more coming, uh, but we we get into the initial stuff of it. Is it, a, is it part? Is it the conspiracy version? Is it the real version? What version of The Great Awakening? Anyway, it kind of goes along with this. We talked about it on Final Frontier News. Go go sub to that channel, of course, Final Frontier News. It's uh, free, but you can hear the full episodes on my Patreon, but you have to pay for that. But you, but you can hear the full episodes. One hour long. Shout out to Clam Baked for becoming a patron again. Uh, but yeah, there's so much stuff, man. And so me and Jake uploaded tons of stuff today on Patreon and over there on Final Frontier News, and so much stuff is on my Patreon. But um, yeah, just people roasting her and just flipping out. You know, I don't really agree with the God thing. Like, God made 90%. It's like, yeah, God made your knees, too. God made you, like, fucking whatever. God made gonorrhea. God made, like, cancer and AIDS and everything. So it's like, you know, yeah, God, okay, God made your immune system. God also gave you a brain so that you would decide not to put, like, poison in your mouth. You know what I mean? Uh, God also gave you a brain to not like to, to realize, oh, cigarettes aren't good for me. If I smoke them, I'll get cancer. But maybe I'll just do it anyway because of dis- I can make decisions. You know, I don't know. So I don't really believe in the God thing. But I, I don't I also don't think she should be attacked for her religion or whatever. You know, that's stupid. You know, let her believe whatever she wants to believe, um, you know. Uh, but yeah, people nowadays are really attacked for their religions. It's crazy. They're like super attacked. I don't know why. I'm not a religious person myself, but I also don't believe in attacking people's religion over their opinions. But also putting, you know, doing stuff that could hurt other people because of your religion is also kind of stupid. So I don't know. It's weird. Uh, but she's trusting God over COVID vaccine, it looks like. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are going to agree with that, to be honest. Like, who the hell trusts the, the vaccines and the governments now? You know what I mean? A lot of people don't. And with the whole Great Reset that we talked about, you know, this is openly talked about. Justin Trudeau just talked about it in Canada. And, you know, people are going to be f- handing over their property and their stuff like that to get clemency or whatever you call it. And there's just so much. Dude, you could do like 50 hours on um, on the Great Reset. And it has to do with some of this. Um, but you're going to have to have a state ID. You're going to have to have, you know, a vaccinated. You're not going to be able to go back to work, you know. There's going to be people who work during the pandemic for minimum wage, sacrifice their, put their lives on the line to give us groceries for $9 an hour. And those people worked on the front lines 
putting their lives on the line. Some of them got sick. Some of them may have gotten sick and gotten family members sick and whatever. And they had to work on the front lines. And they'll, they're they going to be actually forced to get the vaccine or they won't be able to go to work. Uh, that may, To me, that's a little bit insulting to those people. If they decide they don't want the vaccine, you're fired. Wow, thanks for the last nine months that I worked for you during this pandemic that could have been way worse than it was. We didn't know. You know, and we didn't they didn't know in February, January and March. I mean, I knew I told you, but uh, not. I mean, I didn't I didn't know either, though. We didn't know. We, none of us knew how bad it was going to be or what the after effects could be or anything. We didn't have all the numbers back then. Um, so I don't know. But, yeah, so she's being a tag. You know, why would you trust God? She seems to like the evidence and data. And there is zero proof God exists, says uh, Nick. Uh, I agree with Naya. A lot of people divide. A lot of people agreeing with her. A lot of people not. She's suddenly religious now, someone says. Um, it's about, it's not about her, it's about protecting people, you know. So there's a lot of arguments to be made on this. I'm going to let you guys fight in the comments section down below. Um, uh, shout out to our buddy uh, Steven Crowder, my friend. Yes, sir. Steven Crowder today is having, is just been killing it. Uh, I want to, pre I appreciate Steven Crowder for the retweet on our other video. That was nuts. Or whatever he did. No, he like shared it or something. I heard about that. Anyway, whatever. Shout out to him, man. He's God. Look at him. Look at him looking good, man. Uh, and I'm just kidding. He didn't shout anything out. He just retweeted something a while back. Um, shout out to him. Shout out to um, Billy. And shout out to Nia Jax. I guess she's about to get all kinds of heat. What do you guys think? Do you think Nia Jax is like, oh, well, she's horrible in the ring. No wonder she's stupid. Or, or do you think she's great? And Do you think she's... Uh, courageous for um you know taking a stand and saying yo i'm not gonna put this in me i'm gonna trust my immune system i'm fine all right or do you think she's garbage for doing that you know what i mean i'm sure there's gonna be lots of fights in the comments down below um you know w regardless of how you feel i see i agree i kind of agree with her a little bit i don't i don't agree with the god part because i'm just an agnostic person i'm not a really you know i'm agnostic i don't know what i really believe in but so I throw the God thing out of it. I think that's stupid. But, you know, be, being skeptical about a vaccine and what they're doing and how fast it's out there and all that other stuff, I can see that. I can see being skeptical about that. I think she's kind of got a point. I don't know if I would agree. I don't know if I wouldn't get it or would get it. I don't know yet what I would do. But right now, I you know, I kind of feel like maybe, you know, maybe you do go with your immune system for now. But, I mean, I, you know, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Do you think she's crazy? Shut up, get the vaccine, be quiet, you know, whatever. Or do you think that she's dead on and you're not getting it either? I want to know what you all think about what Nia Jack said. But either way, she's getting lots of heat for it. And it's getting ridiculous on uh it's getting a little ridiculous on Instagram and Twitter. So if it's uh it's going down on Twitter, man. The savagery is just on, brother. It is on. I'll see you guys tonight after Monday Night Raw. Remember, I will be live after the Monday Night Raw. Uh, I mean, I will be live after, at, what am I, Bret Hart? After the Monday Night Raw. I can't do Bret Hart because I lost my voice today. But after Monday Night Raw, I will be live. Uh, so we'll be live here for the Raw Review. As always, right here, Joe Cronin Show. Look forward to that. I look forward to you too, Dave Landau, and a whole bunch of other people. We got comedian Derek Richards. We got... Uh, a bunch of other people. We got a bunch of comedians coming on this week. We got some guys who wrote some really good books. We got some science guys, tech guys who are doing experiments on YouTube. They're crazy. They're going to be coming on the show. Uh, we also have um, uh, a couple bands, a couple musicians coming on the show next week. Uh, just a lot of people. Uh, we're going to reunite with our old friend Christian Shields from his band. Uh, you may remember from me and Troy back in the day when me and Troy did the podcast on uh, Stickam in the early days on uh, YouTube. And there's just a bunch of stuff coming this week, man. It's all going to be starting to be unleashed next week. So starting around uh, the end, uh, maybe next week or maybe, yeah, we may be about a week and a half away. And then we're just going to have these these podcasts going uh, a couple times a week with uh, some great people coming on. Man, I had some great conversations, great fun, great fuckery, just all kinds of stuff. I shouldn't have said that. I'm demonetized now. And I'm out of here. I'll see you guys after Monday Night Raw. Popping up on your screen right now are some more videos that you should definitely watch or baby seals will die of COVID, okay? We'll see you then.
Oh, man, we forgot to talk about Zelina Vega. Oh, my God. We'll have to make a separate video? Oh, I guess. God damn it.